And here's the cell in the um, quote unquote right side up configuration. And you can see the production. So I uh, tore apart my um, wet cell because I was having troubles getting um, over about two and a half, three liters a minute. Um, I was seeing surging. So originally um, these plates had uh, this small um, 932nd hole in there. Um, the nice part about it was, as you can see, um, there's very little leakage around that hole. Um, so, smaller surface area. Um, I also um, had put a tube in there with a slit in it, which I think uh, contributed. But anyway, um, I was, I believe I was getting gas restriction on the output. So, I enlarged the hole. It used to have this 932nd hole in the bottom and the top. So, I've enlarged the uh, upper hole to half inch. And what I've done is I've uh, experimented around. Um, I actually uh, read on the internet that the uh, plastic that they use for uh, milk bottles works pretty good. Um, so I cut up some mix, uh, milk bottles uh, after trying some other pieces of plastic. Um, and it, the, the advantage of um, using this plastic is when you go to weld it, it, uh, it uh, melts pretty nicely. And uh, the only problem is it's about 20 thousandths thick and um, if you have two of those in a 60 thousandths uh, gasket gap, that's uh, going to be hard. So anyway, what I'm doing is I'm actually taking the idea from David and uh, expanding it a little bit. Um, here's a plate here with a with a grommet on it that seals that half inch hole. And uh, it's kinda ugly I know. Here's the pretty one. Right there, there's there's a pretty one. Um, and so that insulates around that hole. Um, I think a lot of people are concerned that you gotta completely seal it. Um, but I really think that the actual inside edge of the plate uh, is really where the most leakage goes on. Um, right in here, I think is where most of the leakage goes on. So, I know this is dragging out, so what I'm doing is I have a 25 plate cell. Um, I've gotten these grommets and I'm going to put it together and let you know. So, uh, in order to make these, I uh, used this uh, Ziploc lid here and uh, used this handy dandy little die punch here and uh, stamped out a bunch of these little things and made washers out of them. So I'm going to show you. So um, you might recognize this. This is a uh, compression fitting. Um, was a two-ended nipple and what I've done is uh, taken it and put it on the end, cut it off and put it on the end. This is a soldering iron used for uh, stained glass. It's uh, I forget how many watt. It's pretty pretty heavy duty but um, I've uh, hooked it up to my Variac. Got a handy dandy Variac here and I've set it and um, I set the temperature um, handy dandy thermometer here and uh, turns out that this plastic melts uh, around 150 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, as you can see take this thing and you can melt away on it. So the trick with plastic welding I've learned here the hard way is um, gotta get the right temperature so, the first thing that I do is I make a washer. So, I made these blanks again with my thing. And I hold it because it sticks a little bit. 
and you find the approximate center. Press down and voila. You gotta pull the little piece out of the end. As you can see, nice little washer. So I'm gonna make a pair here. too much about it being perfectly in the center. Again, I think the most critical thing here is... Uh, so what I do um, is I center the hole like that. Move on over top. Hold it in place. go. So I dink around with it a little bit and uh, this one's not exactly center but like I said I don't think that really is going to be all that big a deal. So I'll let you know if this works or not. Yep, another dry cell video. So this is a 25 plate cell that was really made by wet cell labs. Um, there's 13.22 volts, 15.5 amps. Um, you can see the flow going into the reservoir there. Uh, my generator is my cord there. So I'm losing about a volt through the cables. Um, my amp gauge is off by about half an amp here. So the real deal there is about 15 amps. Alright, and here's the cell in the um, quote unquote right side up configuration. And you can see the production. And um, 13.5 volts and 1.6 amps. So the first reaction would be, well, you know, there's actually less leakage here. It's the same electrolyte, everything. I just flip the cell over and um, swap the hoses, and uh, you would think that. Uh, this is a better setup because there's less current. Well, it turns out that the uh, flow rate drops off tremendously. creeping. So with this exact same setup, I was running over a liter per minute. And as you can see here, struggling to do a half a liter.